Welcome to Linux Kelp. Today we are going to see how to configure and test RAID 0 on Debian 11.3. RAID 0 creates stepping to increase read write speed as data on separate disks can be read and written simultaneously. In order to increase disk access speed, you should use this level of RAID. First I will check the OS version. I am using Debian version 11. Next, now I am going to list the disk by executing following commands. The disk bar STA, STB and STC. Next, now I am going to prerequisites for the RAID 0 installation. So, by using following commands. md kdm command after installing md adm command next now i'm going to create a partition the partition create before you have checked the disk already raid is configured or not so using by using following commands there is no raid configured next now i'm going to create the new partition First, now I'm going to partition for STP. Now I'm create the new partition. So enter N. The partition type are primary. The partition number are default. First sector can be default. Next last sector I will add for the 1 GP only. After creating the new partition, next now I am going to change the partition type. So enter T. The partition hexa code has been RAID configuration FD. Next save and exit using w command the partition has been allocated for raid configuration next now i'm going to create the new partition for stc enter new partition n Select the partition type primary. Select the partition default. Next last sector can be add for the 1 GP. Change the partition type to enter T. The exa code for FD. And save. So STB and STC new partition can be allocated. After creating the partition, next go to verify the change of the both drive using same MDADM command. Disk has been RAID configured. Next, now I am going to create the RAID by using following commands.
after creating the raid configuration next now i'm going to format the raid in ext4 format next now i'm going to list the raid details This is for our RAID details, STP partition and STC partition. Next, I'm going to create the directory. Next, create the directory for mount the RAID 2 drive. Now, mount the RAID to the directory. Next, now I'm going to add for the permanent mounting. So open the FS tab. To add the RAID permanent mounting, slash dev slash md0 slash root After permanent mount, then save and exit. Next, now I'm going to list the disk. So you can see RAID has been permanent mounting. Next, now I'm going to enter into the RAID directory, add to some files on the directory. First, change the RAID directory and create the three files. The file's name x, y, x, y, z. Next, create a new directory. The directory name x, x, y, y, and z, z. Next, now I'm going to long listing the directory. You can see I will create for the raid disk empty files and the empty folders. Next, now I am going to unmount the directory and test the RAID 0. The unmount for the RAID 0. Next, now I'm going to fail the STB1 partition. Next, now I am going to command for the mounting from the FS tab file by executing the following commands. This line can be commented, then save and exit. Next, now I am going to restart my machine. After restarting my machine, next now I am going to change the directory from the RAID directory. Now I am going to long listing the directory. So you can see all the data from the RAID is corrupted. 
So with these steps, you can follow for how to configure and test RAID 0 on Debian version 11.3 has been completed. Thank you for watching this video and if you like it, please subscribe to our channel. To learn more tutorials, visit www.linuxhelp.com and if you have any queries, mail us to support at linuxhelp.com.